Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading for Gemini for your January 2023 uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Uh, why did they do this? So we're going to take a look at someone that you're currently dealing with or was dealing with. We're going to see uh, what this person did to you and then uh, we'll take a look and see why this person did it. So these are the individuals that's kind of looking for answers and closure from someone that is not giving them the answers, okay? So uh, even, though, even though this is love focused, this could be with anybody. Apply this to your own unique situation. You can switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Uh, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements if you guys haven't done so yet. Hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on one of my new videos post. Uh, give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Uh, keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, Gemini people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you uh, book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below, all right? So, uh, Gemini, tell me about the person that Gemini was dealing with or is currently dealing with here. What did this person do to Gemini? What did this person do to Gemini for January 2023 for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs? All right, we have the Ten of Swords, wow. Four swords. You know, one of the things I'm feeling like this person dropped a hand grenade and just ran off. Yeah. Dropped a hand grenade. What happened? I didn't do anything. And this person just bolted. Okay. Ten of swords and the four of swords here. With the two of wands here. And a queen of, uh, queen of pentacles. You know, I feel like um, Gemini. Uh, queen of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This person bolted. Or left because this person could have had another option here. It, yeah, it just seems like it, you know. I just feel like it, it just seems like it was just out of nowhere. Yeah, no warning, nothing. Uh, Knight of Wands here in the Knight of Cups. I, I I feel like in a way, with the Knight of Wands here and Knight of Cups, I feel like he definitely got played here thing is I feel like this is not the first time this that this has this has happened I feel like this has happened multiple times where they were with you they betrayed you bolted with to be with somebody else if it didn't work back work out they'll come back so the knight of wands Aries Leo Sag knight of cups here Cancer Scorpio Pisces yeah I I feel like you're definitely dealing with a playboy or a playgirl here okay ten of swords ten of swords nine of cups four of swords you know yeah this is a pattern and this person's very 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 incredibly selfish so th like I said this has happened multiple times now let's say if this is the first time that this person has done this to you, this person has done this to other people. That's why I say, uh, that's why I say it has happened multiple times here. Okay, uh, the two of wands, ten of cups, queen of pentacles, five of wands. It just seems like it was a constant battle. Now let's say this person was married to somebody else or dating somebody else or that they had a full-blown relationship with somebody else I felt like you might have been in this energy of wanting to fight for a spot to be in this person's life but it just didn't work yeah it just didn't work I just feel like this person just came to you because you know maybe they were missing something from their relationship here uh, this person was definitely juggling this person definitely put you in a third-party situation here Seems like you were dealing with a knight here. Yeah, because there's another queen here. So I feel like maybe the truth came out about something here where your person was dealing with somebody else. All right. Um, okay, so why did this person do this to Gemini? Why did this person do this to Gemini for January 2023? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Okay, let's see.
All right, eight, the magician here and the ten of pentacles. It seems like they were trying to manifest a happily ever after here with you. But uh, I, sh I just feel like this person played around a lot here, Gemini. Gemini, Virgo with the magician. Uh, we had the high priestess and the hierophant. I do feel like in a way you guys had a very spiritual connection. Like I feel like you guys could read each other's minds, read each other's emotions here. Uh, the thing is, uh, you know, I, I just feel like it could be that, you know, it could be that there's a, there was a deep inner knowing that, you know, there was something else going on here. Okay. Oh, we have the King of Pentacles here and the Sun card. This is definitely a soulmate connection here. You know, eventually this person's going to realize that they missed out on something really great or that they lost something really great by messing around like this. Okay, with the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the Sun, Leo energy, Taurus energy here with the Hierophant, Cancer, Pisces, the High Priestess, the Magician here, and the Emperor. Ten of Pentacles here and the Three of Pentacles. One of the things I'm getting here is that this person was definitely dealing with somebody else. Look, we have the Emperor, Three of Pentacles, Three of Cups, Two of Swords, and the Lovers. And this Lovers has three people in it. Look how this person's paying attention to this person, but this person's like, no, 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 pay attention to me. Okay? So, um, one of the things I'm getting is that, you know, maybe this person was was not being honest with themselves. Maybe this person's more suited for an open relationship. But, you know, it, it could be that they they weren't being honest with themselves. It's because this person grew up on, like, really strong traditions, you know? So I feel like this person didn't say anything and kind of like was leading on this like facade. High Priestess. The Star, Aquarius Energy. Oh shoot, too many. The Hierophant and the Six of Wands here. I do feel like this person is someone that could have a lot of spiritual knowledge and wisdom here. And this is so interesting. I just feel like when it comes to relationships, I, I, I just feel like you guys have different views here. Yeah. The thing is, I felt, I felt like this person wasn't really honest about it. King of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands, the Sun here, and the Five of Pentacles. One of the things I'm getting here is that this person has a lot of trauma that this person has really dealt with here too. Childhood trauma. I do feel like this person does have like some addiction issues or something like that. Maybe like a sex addiction. Maybe just behavioral problems. Like psychological problems that they haven't dealt with here. Okay? But it seems like they just threw a hand grenade and pretended like nothing happened. Yeah, and they come back like, you know, like, kind of like, you know, kind of like, you know, nothing, they didn't do anything. Yeah, so um, Gemini, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.